Hi everyone, it's Topher from Topher Spin Meteorites with a eBay warning for you guys. Just a little education of how not to get scammed on eBay. And we're gonna use one guy in particular just to show you what kind of what kind of trash is being proposed out there as meteorites. And people are actually, you know, sending money to this guy named Colin McNamara. He's in the UK. So we're going to dig a little bit into his uh, his YouTube because he has some videos of his meteorites there. Uh, we're also going to dig into his YouTube, I'm sorry, his uh, eBay page because he has been scamming and cheating and stealing people's money by claiming he has UK meteorites. And we're also going to show you a chart that is taken from the uh, MetBull, the meteorologist meteorological bulletin database that is the bible of meteorites so i'm going to show you every meteorite in the uk either found or witnessed to fall since 19 i'm sorry since 1623 so from 1623 to 2020 one we're talking about you know Solid 300 years of history. And we're going to look at the odds. What are the odds that this guy, Colin McNamara, is the luckiest guy in the UK because he finds meteorites more often than anyone ever has in 300 years of documented history? So let's dig in a little bit and I'll show you the kind of crap he's hawking. All right, so here we are looking at his eBay page. His name right there is uh, some form of Colin McNamara, and you'll see he's based in the UK. Uh, he's been doing this for about, well, going on four years now, and we're gonna shut him down. Let's take a look at his items and, and just, there's 21 examples on here. Uh, I've reported each and every single one of them to eBay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, this, uh, let's just take a look at the first one. I haven't even dug into this one yet, really, but. I, I love the stacking of magnets. It just shows you have no idea what you're doing. Um, this is an uh, an iron. Again, that was found in the UK. This is another one found in the UK. Uh, I have never seen an iron that looks like that. It looks like a devil's tower and a bullet mixed together. Uh, it's definitely not a meteorite. Definitely not. Um, here is um, Blue Moon. So he's claiming this is lunar and he found it in Scotland. I don't know what. I mean, you got to be on some serious medication if you think this is a piece of the moon absolutely astonishing um again who in their right mind is going to unless you have a bunch of real meteorites and you're well established who's going to put a piece of of moon up there 58 grams of the moon for like 10 bucks uh and if you look down here over here um all the meteorites I found by myself. I travel in the North Country looking. I find more. Yeah, he finds a lot, which is really, really, really odd. Uh, let's keep on going. Look at this is a now well, he's claiming a mesosiderite found in Scotland. Um, you know, the pictures are, are really pathetic and I can't tell, but I'm going to go based on just him that it's fake. Um, this is a 30 gram with gold and glass impact melt. Uh, they just try to throw everything they possibly can in there to get your attention. Uh, the, these pictures are horrible. Absolutely shitty quality pictures. I mean, ridiculous. Uh, now, this is a uh, another meteorite found in, in the UK. Here's 230 or 240 grams. Oh, my God. Look at these. He tumbles them so he can claim, oh, they don't look like meteorites on the outside because they're tumbled. But like this is garbage. Absolute terrestrial, 100%, no question in my mind. And yes, I am a meteorite specialist there, Colin. 
you and your 10 subscribers on YouTube. You're kicking ass, buddy. Uh, here's another one that's tumbled. You can see the striations in it. That's sedimentary, beyond belief. Um, so you can honestly see the type of crap this guy. Oh yeah, it's got to have diamonds in it. You, you never, you never can sell, you never can sell fake meteorites unless you claim they have diamonds in them. So this is another uh, one from Scotland that he found. The pictures are so pathetically poor, um, but the stacking of the magnets is just an really amateur oh my god amateur hour um it's just a bunch now this is impact glass supposedly that he found uh in in the uk dude i, I i've seen a lot of impact glass this is not this is 100 percent not you're totally wrong so this is the type of crap that he's been selling for years and a lot of uh, the meteorite collectors in, in the UK just can't stand this guy because, well, not only does he sell ugly rocks, when it comes to people as a human, he's a pretty piss poor human as well. I reached out to him today um, and it started, I was thought I was very polite. As you can see here by my inbox, just this morning, he is just rage pounding his his keyboard like like a moron and i approached him this is my original uh communication with him and i i start out with that this one that's we we looked at it's not a meteorite and, and i'm very polite i say i'm not trying to be disrespectful there's zero chances a meteorite please end this listing nothing you have listed is a meteorite and then i just go into a little bit about me and who i am and i'm not going to read it to, to to flaunt myself but it tells my associations and about my youtube channel and then i spend a lot of my time educating people that's what i do that's what i do i'm a meteorite educator um i don't know everything but I put information out there in my weekly hangouts and there is a lot of accurate information there. Um, so I give him this very nice uh, email and he replies, get bent, uh, I'll edit. And then he goes on to, to rant and rave for, for a few hours. So that's what we're, that's the kind of person we're dealing with. I mean, and, and I, I haven't even read all these to be honest with you, but you look at him and, I'm an American tosser. So, um, yeah, uh, he, he says that he's seen my videos. Um, all my, video, my videos are shit, plus no one likes it. Well, uh, that, you know, your 10 subscribers versus my 2,000 subscribers, I think I'm a little more liked than you. Um, and I think people like watching me to watch idiots like you get busted. So by your ignorance and you being such an awful person, you're creating my success. So thank you, I appreciate that, bud. Really, really, really do. Now we are taking a look at his YouTube channel. And you know, I, I always wanna back up what I say. He has 10 subscribers and his name is Colin McNamara. Um, he has all the commenting turned off on all of his videos, which just shows you uh, the guy can't handle being told that his earth rocks are earth rocks. So I don't want to give this guy any clicks and plays, but it's absolutely worth it because my click equals 2,000 views on my channel um, and only one click on his. So let's view what he thinks is a meteorite. <clears throat> an iron meteorite from the UK. I, I have held and touched thousands of meteorites, my man. That's wrong. This is meteorite gold. No, that's terrestrial garbage. Now, let me just show you why this guy is so unbelievable when he says he has found so many meteorites. All right, we're looking at real data right now. This is a list of the 22 meteorites that have been documented as real meteorites from the UK 
since as you can see 1628 right there and 1623 right there so this goes back hundreds of years this is pulled directly from the meteorological bulletin the met bull that's why i don't say it all the time i say met bull <laughs> um so i'm going to show you why it's as you can see right there everything is hyperlinked right to the meteorological bulletin database so let me show you why it is impossible to believe that this guy has found these many meteorites this is a complete list of all the uk meteorites i have basically ruled out all of these for various reasons if you look at the weight on these these are all about a kilogram or 13 grams 30 grams two grams you're not he has none of these historic from the 1800s witnessed falls that only have a kilo of mass it just he doesn't trust me uh here's one okay 1969 okay five kilos potential there's only three stones i guarantee you this monkey doesn't have one of them so we can rule out all of these official meteorites and let's go to the meteorites that i can't rule out that he has um there's only five of them you know um here's what i really want you to here's the takeaway from this if you look at column c very unique about the uk the uk is a very very bad and inhospitable climate for meteorites unlike the sahara desert it's the exact opposite in the uk so if you take a look at this of all the meteorites there that were discovered found and documented since the 1600s one two three four four meteorites have been found meaning cold finds people are walking out there people are hunting for meteorites metal detectors whatever and they stumble across a meteorite having no idea when it fell but lo and behold there it is that's a find that has only happened four times since the 16 since since 1623 that we know of it's only happened four times this cat is a bold-faced liar a scammer and he will take your money do not spend a moment of your time on ebay on his page unless you are reporting his items as fraudulent and i'm going to show you how to do that next Okay, to properly report an item to eBay, here is how you do it. You choose the item that you, we obviously know this is fake. So you scroll down over to here where it says report item. You select copyright and trademark. Then you select counterfeit item. Then you select fake item continue you only have 100 characters so you don't have much room so i write this is not a real real meteorite please end this listing i'm a meteorite specialist this is fake you could change out whatever text you want if you're not a meteorite specialist you can say i'm a, I'm a avid meteorite collector as long as it fits the words there you go you've now submitted a report for that item now i'm going to show you how to report the seller First thing to do when reporting the seller is you copy their name, go into help and search for report a seller. Click report a seller. The seller has violated one of eBay's policies. You put the seller's name in here. Other. And then I have something that I need to cut and paste. Now, now that I've grabbed my cut and paste, I put that in there and it basically says that this seller is committing fraud and they give you a lot of room here, which is nice. So the seller's committing fraud by stating he's selling meteorites, they're plain earth rocks. I assure you there's zero chance that they are real. And uh, please end all his meteorite listings. I'm not trying to ruin him as a person. If he wants to sell, you know, 
Pokemon collector cards. He can do that. Just stay out of the meteorite game because you suck at it. Um, and he's been told this for years. I'm not the first one telling him this. He, everyone in the UK hates this guy. Um, so I basically say I'm an internationally trusted meteorite educator, which I am. I'm talking to you, not everyone else. And uh, I basically give my credentials. So I give them some compelling reason to end the listing and you hit suspend and they've received my report on him. So that is how you report an item on eBay and report a seller on eBay and how you use scientific data and logic and his very, very piss poor quality photos to come to the conclusion that this guy is a fraudulent scammer and you should not buy anything from him. You should report him to eBay at once. This is Topher trying to keep the meteorite world safe. Have fun, everyone, and thanks for watching. Take care.